Let's do a fantastic song by Simon and Garfunkel in three minutes, shall we? Right, one of their most famous in three minutes. First of all, screenshot this. I've not had a chance to put it up on my links thing yet. So just take, I'll get out of the way. Take a screenshot of that. Five, four, three, two, one. Do right, okay. What have we got here? We've got four chords or two main chords C and G, and these like little half chords. We're going to make a stepping stone to get to them, right? Now, these numbers here underneath the chord, this is my little way of writing stuff out. These are string numbers, all right? The ones in brackets you're going to play together. So, for example, we're going to play five and two together, and four and one together whilst playing the chord C. What does that mean? I'll show you. There's the chord C. Each finger has its own designated string, by the way, finger one, finger two, finger three, as always, it's a bit of a rule. Thumb will look after the four, the five, and the six, always, okay? Rules can be broken, but in this instance, keep the stick to it so your fingers don't get in a muddle. Just to remind you again, we're going to play the chord C, and then we're going to play strings five and two together, and then four and one, okay? Five and two together, and then four and one. 25% of the song is done. Then we're going to move to this next shape, which is a, it's a G with a, an added B. Doesn't matter what it's called, just as long as you get it right. Can you see that? I've got my second finger there. I've got my little finger there. And I'm going to play five and two together, and then three, four, and three separately. Five and two together. Three, four, three separately. Put those two chords together, we've got this. Idea of what we're going to do now. Third chord, nice easy one. Where is it? It's on this side. One finger. What we're we going to play underneath? Five and two together. Three and four. So there's the shape, just that one there. Five and two together. Three and four. And then finally, we've got our G there. And I want you to play it like this. Two, three, and four. You, you can do it the other way, but do it like that because you want to be going straight to the C afterwards, okay? So Play it like that, two, three, and four. And we're gonna play two, six, three, and then four and one together. Two, six, three, four and one together. Okay, put that together, we've got this. After that, you might be asking, um, nothing. It just keeps doing that over and over again until it ends. Okay, so there we are. Four shapes. It's a progression. It's a well-known progression from uh, C to G. Now, if you were strumming it, it was worth doing this for this. So it's worth knowing anyway. Right. Um, for those people that think he's forgotten, I haven't. I am working on the green matter. It's taken me some time to come. Put me, I'm mapping it out in a way that you will all understand. I'm doing it like this. So anyone that's never done any guitar classical stuff before, we're going to go straight into a grade five piece. And I can promise you that if you follow my instructions, you'll be able to play it. All my students who would do exams, you all get A stars. And in England, that's about as good as you can get. Now I don't teach the actual music theory. But when they're sitting in front of the music going like this. As far as the examiner's concerned, if you're playing it correctly, you get an A star. Trust me, you know what I'm saying? Trust me, trust me, trust me. It may be unorthodox, but it works. Right, I've got to go. I shall see you next time. We're coming up to four minutes, 20. Practice this song. Catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And that little bell thing, I don't know the technical term for it, but if you press that. Send your mates, and this this thing, if you if you've screenshot it, you know, just send it to whoever. All right, I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.